Uh, I have done quite a few videos on the, the five wave pattern, but let me just reiterate how, how they work. Now, so this is uh, the Icon brand, I-C-O-N. And this morning it was in this nice rising channel like this. And so, you know, you could have just you know, taken this trade early on. I tried when it broke out. It did have a little pop, then pulled back. Now it's just consolidated sideways. But here you get... Generally what happens, so this would be the start of the trade. So this is the start of wave one here. But you don't know it's a wave until it, the part of them starts to develop more really into wave three. We get the start here. We get this first move up wave one. And then we get a pullback like this, wave two. And quite often in a wedge or a channel, uh, wave one, wave two. And then we get the wave three. It usually is the biggest wave. And then we get... Um, this is wave three. Now we get this pullback. Oops. We get this pullback. Come on. In here like this on wave three. And this is a wedge pattern. And then it pops, but you can see that it doesn't break over. So this really isn't the start of wave three. This is still wave two console or wave, yeah, wave one, two, wave three, wave four consolidation. And when it breaks, uh, it does make a higher low here, but it, it really needs to break out above this level here to be the next to count as the next wave. So you got wave one, two. It does break out, and that's your wave three up into here. It's usually your biggest wave. So this one moves from 196 to 210, so 16 cents. This one moves from 203 to 226. 27 so a 24 cent move 16 and 24 and then pulls back but now you've got this sort of truncated fifth or it's a, this is still wave four in this consolidation then it breaks out and then it pops into wave five and then you get fifth wave consolidation and then it pulls back and we continue with fifth wave consolidation really all through here the problem with fifth wave consolidation is we don't know uh, where it's going to go the other one, there's another good example of these these waves, and I have it in here. This is the tranny, the Dow tranny. Um, this is a, you know a big three wave corrective, one two three wave corrective in the bear market, and uh, from a, a big long term, you know uptrending channel, you get this three wave corrective. Then we get into, once the bear is over there, we get into this new start. We get this wave one here, wave one. And in each wave, you're going to get five moves. So you're going to get one, two, three, four, five. And then in wave two, which is usually a three-wave corrective, one, two, three-wave corrective. In this case, it double bottomed. And then we get wave three, one. And then in wave three, we get five waves, one, two, three, this is wave three. So this is wave three and in wave three. And we could see this take it. If we get the five wave pattern, we should see in a measured move, we should see this take this up to 11,700. This is a good sign. This is, uh, this is a good example of it. Wave one, and you got a five wave move in it. Wave two, three wave move corrective. Wave three, three waves so far, and then continue uh, for it to trend higher.